Okay, guys, so our Amazon um, order came in, and we ordered our doorknobs for our soon-to-be um, doors that haven't yeah. been installed yet. Yeah, and what do you guys think that we got? We don't think that you guys can guess what we have in the package. Yeah. <laughs> um, if there's even some that are copper, we'll give you guys a hint. There's some that are copper. Um, white, white, white. It just comes in a variety of colors. In the Bronze, metals. Brush nickel, like this yeah. one. Or, um, you, you don't know if we like, so tried matching it. Oh, stainless steel. That's what it was. Yeah, stainless yeah. So we're going to open it, guys. We'll never guess what we got. Which one we got. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see them. Okay. Okay. Want to get Okay. Ooh, it comes in this little box. There. There's an installation box. This is pretty. <laughs> oh, they're like, like. Okay, this is, um. Oh, um, I know what this for. Um, I don't want to say. Um, I don't want to say yet, because they'll like, give it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's, some. Um, okay, guys, so more is going to come tomorrow. Today was our first um, delivery because we had to order 32 handles. 32 handles. And it wasn't cheap. Mm -hmm. 32. Let's see. One of these came damaged, which is a concern for me. I know you guys think, oh, handles. What? Why would you be concerned about your box uh, being damaged if they're just handles? But watch. You just got to see why that's concerning because I don't want this to be damaged for this reason coming up. Drum roll. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have to see. These are so fancy, huh? Yeah. That they even come with these really beautiful sachets, little bags. Does this, give a hint? does this give a hint maybe yeah does this give a hint of what they might be that's just a crazy cute yeah. let's take a look i don't like how they slap them okay guys now i'm gonna open them can you use scissors So they would go sideways, huh? Yeah. Yes, just like that. This. Look at how gorgeous those are, guys. And that's why I wanted to be sure there was no damage, which we will have to check on Ionis. But can you see that? See how gorgeous that is? Yeah. Beautiful. This is how it looks, guys. Wow. And then let's check out Nayeli's. 
Now y'all, you just showing this one. And that would go there like that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. You put it up to that drawer, like a pool drawer. Wow. Look at that. What do you think, guys? Maybe I can get a fresh one. The granite has a lot of quartz in it. Yeah. That's why we like and chose the granite because it's a natural stone. And you can see all um, the quartz. Purple, um, purple pieces of cabinets because um, there's purple in the top. It's gorgeous. We had a hard choice because we'll send you a picture. They have an amethyst. That would have looked really good with the copper up against the purple. But then we thought maybe it might be too, too dark. And we wanted something to kind of pop. So we thought, well, let's just try the light ones. And it doesn't hurt later to just get the wands and then you can just change them uh, here and there when you want a different look on your, on your cabinets. Yeah. But that's what that looks like, guys. Take me around here. Show you all the way around this handle. <laughs> and while I'm showing you this, We'll show you something else that we got. I was trying to do a nice, beautiful 360 around this crystal for you. Just absolutely beautiful. I'm in love. You see that? Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. So we got another bag. So we got another bag. Let's see. Here comes the reveal, guys. Nice and gentle. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's the other way. Uh, oh, wow. These ones are top. Uh, can't. Let's take it out and take a look at it. These here are a really good size. I mean, look how big that is. Nice pull handles. I think they're like almost three inches long. But you see how thick they are? They're really thick. But this is like two times the size. This is almost six inches, guys. See? Let's put the light to this, guys, because you can see it a lot better. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. That is beautiful. 
beautiful. I try to put the flashlight on there so you guys can see it. The lighting is tricky. I don't know how to catch the beauty of it good enough, guys. I hope this helps some. I don't know. If I go close up, see, it's too bright. But look at how gorgeous that is. That's pretty. I mean, could you imagine this up on the door, pulling these handles? These are almost six inches, really thick, thicker than my finger, way thicker than my finger. Oh, wow. Just beautiful. I don't know if the camera can catch it, the beauty of it. But hopefully this helps in some way. with brushed brass hardware. So Absolutely nice. beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. No, it's just one on camera. Is it, honey? Is yeah. it still recording? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. For what? Let me know that it's showing good. What do you think, girls? Excited? Yeah. Girls, did, did you guess what it was? Let us know um, in the comments. In the comments. And do you think it was a good idea, the, the style that we chose? Yeah, do you guys think that it was a good idea? I think I know what they thought we were going to get. Which ones? Uh, brush nickel or the silver? Yeah. Hmm. But um, I don't know. I think when you're doing a deep purple like this, you just think gold. Yeah, and stay tuned for what we're going to get in the bathroom, guys. Oh, yes. We got awesome stuff coming for the bathroom soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's taking a while, but pretty soon. This kitchen's taking a while to get done but it's getting there it's really getting there which is falling into place because we have to wait several days for the paint to cure before we can sc put screws in the doors and put the handles so it'll be perfect timing to be able to get the rest of our handles in because we had to order 32 of these 32 of these handles um and soon to be more because Another surprise is this kitchen is going to extend all the way out here. Yeah. So that way we can put, you know, our food and stuff in it, obviously. Yeah, because we need more space. We need more space. Our dream would have been, guys, this island, we want it to have turned it this way. So that way it could have been open through here and go grab your cabinets and stuff. But unfortunately, that wasn't in our budget. So it's better to have something than nothing. And we were very happy still with the way it came out. It's not going to hurt us to kind of come around the corner and then go over there to get anything that we may need. But yeah, it would have been neat to have this island turn this way. And then that would have been grand. I mean, grand kitchen. But uh, hey, you just got to go with what's in your budget. And uh, I mean, we probably could have did it. If we didn't do the other 50 projects that we're working on. But we wanted a taste of everything, guys. We we have everything almost out of this house. And we thought it's our best opportunity to do the countertops, the floor, the paint, you know, the cabinets, just et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, yeah, it's our only opportunity to do it. So we're doing it. Hope yeah. you've been enjoying the – we hope you've been enjoying the – rush with us we just have so many mass things going on so many people coming in and out so much of our own back labor <laughs> and uh, excitement and overwhelmingness but uh yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the ride with us and we appreciate you 
This is how Nayeli feels right now. She can't express her smile big enough, so she's going to do this for you. Rainbows and the crystals. Can you see that? Really beautiful. And the lights are kind of tricky. If you look at it, certain angles, you will find the rainbows and the crystals. I'm gonna heat up dinner right now. Nico. So my beautiful girls, my poor beautiful girls, sitting on concrete floor, cardboard box, enjoying a nice muffin. And they're doing this awesome puzzle that we won in a birthday party Annalise birthday party they played a bingo game and we won this so it was really cute so just with the Christmas theme they're just trying to have that Christmas spirit right now since it's really hard for us because I guess we got all our Christmas gifts early with all the remodeling but we have nowhere to put a Christmas tree It'll be in the way because we're surrounded by tons of boxes that we're trying to use for our food. We can um, pretty soon. All that needs right now is grout, and we might be able to put a tree right there um, and be able to have just a little Christmas this year. Just a little something for the kids to enjoy and to remember celebrate Jesus' birthday. We'll make it work. This is the passion fruit that we got from Rare Seeds. And I'm putting it back up there. And then today, I put back in the mango, the tree guard, 
circle and the bench. And it already came in handy. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Hello, girls. How's my girls doing? Oh. I just I just finished putting in the passion fruit. Today I put this in with the dirt and then the passion, I mean the uh, Glen Mango, the Glen, Glen Mango, and then the bench, and the girls are just out here with, with some sunshine over there, enjoying a little bit of sun. So that's the Babcock peach. This is a red currant, four and one plum, thorn boysenberries, another red currant, and another four and one plum, plua. In this corner, we put the Suriname cherry back. And then this little one here, this little herb here, is Italian. I'm doing this for my records, my journal because these little tags don't last and I just snapped it. So this is Italian oregano. Oh, smells so good. Let's see if I can take a little snippet of that. Mm. Mm. cherry. Beautiful. So before it's too late and the root system start to grow, we came up with a different design again. We have the 401 cherry there. The Rainer cherry is going to be right on the opposite side of it. And then we thought, well, why not put the two same? We have two four and one pluots. Why not put them there instead of the pluary and the apple? So we're going to plant them there. So it's our wind down time. <laughs> and I'm working on Pluto. Yeah. She's got Minnie Mouse. Because I think this is her. And little Nayeli Bo's got Mickey Mouse. And, and these ones, wait, do you, do you and wait. the chipmunks, <laughs> nightingale, uh, <laughs> can't remember their names, the chipmunks.
I'm just as corny as I'm about to go out of my mind. The rain keeps a falling, 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 and I'm out of ways of wasting my time. Why don't you come on by and allow me to remind you of the charm and twinkle in my eye? And if you don't mind, grab a bottle of wine and we'll be fine until we see sunshine. And you can leave in the morning if you feel that way. Or I can fix you some breakfast if you want to stay. Today is December 17th. The kids to Grandma Anna Alyssa's birthday. Happy birthday to you if you're watching. The guys are doing the floor, rain or shine. And let me tell you, it, it is raining. Can you see that? Still one of the major things we have to do is our gutter system. My poor Jade is taking a beating. I gotta have the guys move it. Jades don't like to be fully wet. Soaking wet, I should say. And of course, it's starting to flood. I don't know if you can see through the screen. Let me see if I can get through the window. It's already starting. So we have to figure out a better drainage. We have to figure out a better drainage system because that was intentionally for draining the, I mean, filling up the barrels with water so I could recycle. But during all the moving, we moved the barrels and we need to put those barrels back because all that rain up there Coming down, right there. It's all water that I could be using in the summer for my plants. Look at all that water. From with so much it's raining right now, it's hard to tell with my camera, but it's raining pretty good. And I need my gallon buckets back. It's just the guys are so busy. There's just too many projects. And it's something I can't do because it's too heavy for me.
the good side is we are getting water, we're getting rain. That's beautiful. All my freshly planted trees need it. Get a nice deep watering. Is it raining wherever you guys are? We're in California. Zone nine. Sure is beautiful out there, I tell you. The guys are working over here. They finished the closet. They just got to grout and put baseboard. And then I, of course, want to come in and paint it. So, and then right now, this is the layout for the bathroom. This is the layout. And they are doing the cuttings for the toilet, the nasty, nasty parts, the yucky, yucky. So they're doing the cuttings for that right now. The girl's dad, the kid's dad, my tribe's dad is officially on vacation as of today. So now he'll be able to finish this a whole lot faster. It was hard because he was doing 8 to 12 hour days and then turn around and have to come home and try to do more flooring, more cuts. I don't know if you can see out there. The train pretty, pretty good. Very good. It's supposed to rain Monday. Said Monday. Excuse all the mess. We are bringing some stuff back little by little. Up there, you can see it. Little by little, we're bringing stuff back from the storage because we can't afford to keep paying three hundred and twenty or forty dollars a month just in storage. So we're trying to bring back what we can take upstairs or store into the garage to at least um, cut it down to one storage instead of two. But as soon as all this gets done, we can bring some of the furniture back in here. And then over here will be another story waiting to happen. So it's a huge mess because we're trying to live at the same time as trying to do all the construction. But it is exciting, intimidating, overwhelming, exciting, and everything in between. And it's raining so hard that they're trying to put the doggy. We need to make the doggy a house. The girls, we don't use that house anymore. The girls don't use it. It's more like a storage for little things. But we were going to take it out. We kept that spot there because we wanted to put like a greenhouse or another um, playhouse, but more sturdy and sturdy wood. A clubhouse or something but uh, the girl said well why don't we just use it as a doghouse for for harvest so I'm not too sure if we will it is kind of maybe too big <laughs> for a little dog well she will get bigger but I think it might be too big and considering the amount of space we have in the yard I think I'd rather go with a smaller doghouse so we can have uh, either a I would not either, but I think I would prefer a greenhouse because I need a greenhouse. Look at my baby. Harvest. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. So we put her here closer to the window for now. Because as soon as they're done with the... As soon as they're done with the cutting, they're going to move all this back. And then she'll be over here when it's dry a little bit later today. They said that we had no rain till Monday, but here we are. Every time I give her a pillow, this is what she does. She tears it all up. She tears her bowls up, her cushions up all the time. But you see, 
it's flooding already in her area. Because we opened the shed. We put a big old bedding in there and stuff for her. So she can just go in and out whenever she wanted to. Because the weather's been really good here. But not with this. This is a flood and we have to clean all of that up. And we gotta make her a little space. Adam, their dad, brought some wood yesterday and he's gonna make a custom doghouse for her. But that's again, another project in time. So project after project, they're all fun, but it's everything's time, 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 time. They said Monday, huh? <laughs> they said Monday, huh? <laughs> That's the toilet piece that I was talking about that they were cutting. Signs are slowing down. He said, he said, my pancakes are almost done. Little goofball. It is getting dark outside. The camera just shows the daylight for better lighting. But he is mixing the grout or the glue, the glue. Ellie's gonna go water the papaya that's right there. It's under the patio so it didn't get any water. Sit. 
Nayeli's getting Dougie some treats. We get these treats at our local snack place. Puppy variety. Get a big old giant bag for $3.99 at the pet and feed store. Oops! You caught the oops over here. <laughs> one didn't we stick. Do, we do make mistakes, but we caught a hollow one. Go ahead and batter that one again. What's that? I said to be sure to hit the like and subscribe for your girl's uh, channel. Yes. And of course, comment on everything you want to comment on. You're all ears, not me. Any pointers, kids, right, no, no, complaints, blue hats. Night time now. Uh, you've got the spotlight going to cut the tile. I don't know if you can see because the reflection in the house. I think they're done putting the glue on the floor. In the bathroom? Yeah. We've got to wait over there. Oh, yep. Just step only on those two and that's it. Don't come all the way over there. Yeah, we got to wait over there just to... Help us uh, keep it way down right there because that's where the toilet sits. So now they're working on the washroom. And then 
The longest piece will be uh, half the top. Because wow. we're 24 and 248. And then we got a foot and a half. We got about a foot and a half of the longest one. Now, too much. What are you doing? Leveling out the cracks? Yeah, there was a high spot on the previous crack repair. And it was uh, too high. So now I'm just going to sand it down. And I use this to grind it down. And now I'm just going to use a flat this to knock off some of the glue. That's about it. Make it easier on the scraping. Tangled up in the wires.
So we are taking this garden bed mound and putting it in that one that we just built. Oh, actually, put, we built, put back. There's Ayana's. Hi, Ayana. She's out here enjoying the day with me before it rains. It's gonna rain again. So we came out and did what we can in the meantime. So good. Huh? Okay, if it has this white, if it has this white ring. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want to pick another one? That's okay. I'll eat one. Okay, let's go eat them. It's probably gonna last me until Good health. Cheers to good health. <laughs> mm. Delicious. <laughs> so Delicious. You like them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ring purrs are sour. It's like eating a lemon, but they are very good. They're more like a Meyer lemon to me, <laughs> as far as the sour. Yeah. Because Meyer lemons ain't super sour. So we cleaned up, got all the mellow bar off, all the old uh, red and green uh, Chinese noodles, Taiwan noodles. And we're getting this bed ready for one of these. I'm gonna save this tomorrow because it's All right, we're back inside, it's starting to rain. So let's see what's going on over here. It looks like they finished sanding, they did some of that patchwork on the you know the concrete and the isolation and all that jazz all prepped i don't know what their next step is yet i think while that's drying they're going to start grouting now we'll see we're going to be cleaning the haze with that So, it's time for the grout, and he has to dampen the floor before he can apply the, the grout. You gotta have a peanut butter consistency on the grout.
That's made that float. Is this a float? Yep. Buckets right behind you. Yep. Now, do you have to stop there and let it dry and then wipe it and then do the rest, or you go all the way down? I'll go all the way down. This is a small area. The main important thing is just trying to clean it up as I go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And my arms are weak already. Anything I could do for you? No. Stop giving you projects? Uh huh? Stop giving you projects? Hi, Papa Look! Look where I was going in. Do the difference how it's all like dark? Okay black and then over there has to be the color gray. The sharper the edge, the sharper the edge, the easier it is to clean up. You know what I mean? But the sharper it is, up your grout lines also. I think what you want to do is push it in the grout lines as you go. Yeah, that second one in over there looks like it has a dent. I don't know if that matters. Or the one on the left. Right there. Yes.
Okay. Wait, are you were on this one already? Mama, you want to see what it looks like? It's done. Almost. No, oh. It still needs about two more passes. Oh, you have to do the grout again? No. Uh, taking the haze off. Oh, Same okay. Let's do the next one. Look deep down inside. Look, look yonder. Yeah, that's cute. That's pretty, huh? Mm. What was it called? Steamboat? I don't know. Steamboat? Can't be that. Steamship. Oh yeah, steamship. And right now with this kind of white you you try to build up the uh grout, grout lines pretty good like spread it around if it needs to look, look for any abnormal ones like really deep deep ones or whatever that i may have messed up like right here but now i just added water to it Hopefully it dries okay. That looks uh, hmm? like too much floor for me. <laughs> too much floor for you? Huh? That looks... Uh, it's just the first light. Very beautiful. You like the grout line color you chose? Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I just hope it stays clean. Uh oh. That I can't guarantee. It, I just hope it stays. <laughs> I, I didn't know that the other, um, the slate, slate gray that we chose, I didn't know it was more like bluish, you know. It still would look pretty, pretty nice, the slate, but it was just a little tad bit darker. So, if you want to change your mind, mm -mm. I like this color. I could still I could still take this part out and just leave the closet that color. No, I like it. So, what about in the bathroom? The bathroom is already in. Oh. Um, I'll probably try and do this, some of this then. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put it all up.
Uh, about, I don't know, seven pounds only. Seven pounds of grout? Yeah, I know, I'm just killing me. Then again, I've, also, I've just finished scraping the heck out of that washroom. I was just gonna say, it's not from this, it's from scraping. He was scraping this morning. Uh, the washroom, all the glue and stuff off. Love sanding out the concrete. And then sealing and patching the concrete. And then I had a whole pet harvest. <laughs> The cat put some claws in the ground. Shit. Yeah. Right there. Okay. No, I think we'll probably have to put him in the cage. You could probably be thicker here, Adam. Huh? You probably can be thicker right here. Why? It's it's like a dented in. Where's the claw? Right there. something watch all these and then when you're at the grout line you just go lightly on the grout line to establish a nice uh, uniform uh, joint you know what I mean gotcha. and then you go back and forth at an angle like that or back and forth motion see and then you concentrate most of the circulars right here on the on the face of the tiles and then all you're doing on the on the joints is just trying to get uniformity you know what I mean? Not too much water in the joint. So you can kind of control how you want it to look by just passing the... <laughs> by the time over. he's done, he'll be finished with the floor yeah. you're showing him. <laughs> but wring out all the water as much as you can. kitchen over here so that way they can finish grouting the rest of the floor over there.
<laughs> Feel better? A um, little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good.
45. And yep. then you can see it like that. And then, okay. Right now, this is just meaningless for you guys, Michael. But whenever you guys want to do a project in the future, hopefully, hopefully it'll ring a bell. <laughs> no way God concept. dang it, Dad, no wonder. No wonder he was all excited about this. Mm. Because it gets you that way. Or, like I've always said, if we were making enough money, just pay somebody. <laughs> but this is funner. Because you know? mm. if you pay somebody, you'll see the results. It's not paper. I have, I have fun doing this, believe it or not. I have fun. I don't have fun paying for it. <laughs> like the baby. We just like to do the fun stuff. Yes, I told them hi. Sometimes when you look at things, you can picture smiles and, you know, little pictures and stuff, but I I don't like that one in the bag. That's kind of creepy, if you can picture that. 
I don't like it. But let's just take that crinkle right out of that bag. So that way, the bag is gone. That was creepy. Yeah, she's a brat. <laughs> They're almost done on this part. Just this piece here, and then they're gonna be going underneath. And then I can't see them anymore. So it got resanded. What's that? Want to take a picture of it? At the other side?
Jesus. And we can't go down and step on it. We have to wait till it dries. Get in there. You see where it stops? Way. Queda bien ahorita, pero ahorita como que se empieza así. Ya, ya. A juntar la pinche. Ya, del peso. Ya, del peso. Del peso. Ya. Ahorita, ahorita de este. Oh, ok. Oh, ahí ya no le detengo nada. ¿Le detengo o no? Le detengo. ¿Tantito? Aquí lo vamos a hacer. Delicados estos, estos cabinetes. Ya. Yeah. Es que es en la, en la, como dijera. Si dijera usted no, no le estoy aventando así, no. Ya. Ya fui, ¿no? No, no. Le quito la pistola y luego, luego. Eh, apenas nomás el aire. En cuanto al aire. Ajá. Sí. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahora que es, tiene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Este y este, oh, este sí. tantito, 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 ajá. ¿Cómo va a ver, pero como este, si lo puedes, luego lo que está así, para tener para pintar este lado, ahí está, este, así,
Where's my boys? Nico, Boston, I think I'm on, I should be waiting. Alarm's gonna go off. Huh? The alarm's gonna go off. It went off? It's going to in a second. Baseboards.
Big difference on the two colors. The floor looks beautiful. Did the cat get stuck in the garage again? I hear a bunch of muffle. Did you see the bathroom? Yeah, bathroom looks nice. We have a beautiful vanity, vanity coming. We have not picked the toilet yet. Can't believe how many different types of toilets there are. Just something to sit on and flush. Very good. Very, very nice. Okay, Let's see if I can carefully work on these lines. What if I went from there? We are measuring the washroom here, now. Right here, um, and then right Getting here, the layout just, ready. Uh, right here, just cut a, a border strip and just put the strip all the way across. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And put a border strip that's uh, about. Um, we can go four inches or five inches in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if I did that, I have to make sure I have it squared here. I have to have a. Let's we'll see what it looks like when it gets started. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That way, that way I have a square. That way I have a, a true square of what I gotta work with. And then. So exciting. Do the strip. Cut whatever I want. 